starting in 5 seconds the house will remember that when this matter came up on the earlier motion to appoint a joint committee we had a fairly full and profitable discussion in this house as a result the house agreed to send this bill to a joint committee the other house went a step forward and unanimously agreed to send it to the joint committee i mention these facts to show what a great degree of unanimity of opinion there has been in parliament over this matter one would imagine sometimes reading or hearing some criticisms made outside this house that this was a measure over which opinion was rent when twain that it was a highly controversial measure which proposed something very extraordinary yet when one comes to see what has actually happened in this house or the other house one finds that the persons who are most intimately connected with this matter in the sense that they are considering it directly members of the two houses who have listened to arguments for and against have come to one broad conclusion in favor of this amendment of the constitution this should be remembered because an attempt is made outside parliament of course to create a contrary impression i am not saying anything secret when i say that the proceedings of the joint committee were remarkable for their cooperative approach to this problem it was an understanding approach and a near unanimous approach in fact the bill as it has emerged from the joint committee might almost be considered to represent the views of almost every member of the joint committee which consisted of people of various parties and various views after the report of the joint committee was prepared and passed in this cooperative manner by almost every member of the joint committee some minutes of dissent have been received the minute of dissent by my friend has been major a longest minute in which he has got it from high legal authorities apart from that fact that he is himself a high legal authority first of all we must bear in mind exactly what this bill is and what this attempt to amend the constitution is it is owed that words like confiscation of property and expropriation are thrown about when actually what the constitution says is that there will be no such thing except by law and except on payment of compensation thereof the quantum of compensation is to be determined by the legislature the king has given many quotations about due process of law for instance he says distinguished american judge has observed a great desire to improve 
the public condition is not enough to warrant achieving the desire by a shorter cut than the constitutional way i say that this is the constitutional way and what is proposed is the definite legal and constitutional way of doing it and we are wearing or amending the constitution in the constitution way i do not quite understand this throwing about of words like expropriation and confiscation and doing things apart from the law remember that the sole major change proposed is to make clear one thing which was clear to us at the time this constitution was framed that is to say according to the constitution as it emerged from the constituent assembly the quantum of compensation or the principles governing compensation would be decided by the legislature this was made perfectly clear it is obvious that those who framed the constitution failed in giving expression to their wishes accurately and precisely and thereby the supreme court and some other courts have interpreted it in a different way the supreme court is the final authority for interpreting the constitution all i can say is that the constitution was not worded as precisely as the framers of the constitution intended what the framers of the constitution intended is there for anyone to see all that has been done now is to make that wording more precise and more in accordance with what the framers of the constitution at that time meant and openly said i do not therefore understand this measure of excitement and agitation in people's mind not in this house but elsewhere about this matter may i say straight away what i think with all respect that the joint committee has certainly improved the bill from what it was previously i accept this report and the recommendations completely there might be one or two minor changes in view but apart from that i think that it would be a pity to amend this as it has emerged from the joint committee's consideration it has emerged as the house will see in much simpler way it is shorter and simpler than before and that itself is desirable the slight change in article 31 bracket 2 makes the point clear and as a consequence of that change it has not been necessary to add too many matters there stop